guys and a very very warm welcome back to what's for tea and i hope that i find you all very well indeed well i've got a wee corker of a recipe for you tonight it's another slow cooker one because that's what you guys have chose i asked the other day whether you wonder there's a variety of curries that I asked you to choose from and you've chosen this chinese takeaway style slow slow cooker chicken curry that's a bit of a mouthful isn't it but it's a cracker of a wee recipe it's super easy very affordable and you know this will feed four or five people so it's going to do quite a few people if it's for more people you just add another wee bit of chicken if it's for less people just add less chicken you know it's fairly simple but yeah you're going to absolutely love if you like a chinese takeaway style chicken curry you're going to absolutely love this it's absolutely delicious and one of the most important ingredients i think is the star anise so it's well worth putting that in yeah so this got 55 percent of the vote so it was a clear winner yeah, so like I said, just get yourself some star anise and pop that in. That's going to give you the sort of authentic Chinese takeaway aniseed almost licorice, faint, faint licorice taste that you'll get in a Chinese takeaway curry. So yeah, pop one of them in and uh, you'll notice a big, big difference. Yep, so if you want to follow along, this is what I've got. I've got one de-seeded jalapeno pepper, or you could use a green chilli pepper if you like. I've just taken the seeds out, although I like it super duper hot. Not everybody in the house likes it quite as hot as I do, so I've taken the, the, you know, the seeds out. I've also got one star anise. Like I said, it's actually quite important. I've also got two teaspoons or one tablespoon of minced garlic. I've got one medium potato, which I've just peeled, washed and cut into bite-sized bits. I've got a can of coconut milk, which is around 400 mils. I've got 200 grams of frozen garden peas. Now, this is optional because I know that not every Chinese takeaway puts peas in their curry, but the one that we go to, they put peas in, so that's why I'm adding peas. And I'm also using 600 grams, or round about that, which is around three medium chicken breasts. And again, I've just cut them into bite-sized bits, but you can, of course, just use cubed chicken if you prefer. I've also got 300 ml of warm water. Now this is just boiling water that's sort of cooled down a wee bit. It doesn't have to be boiling or cold, just somewhere in between. I've got one large onion. Again, I've just diced this into quite large bite size pieces. I've got four tablespoons or around 30 grams of curry powder. You can use whatever curry powder that you like and I'll show you the one that I've used in a wee second. So this is the coconut milk that I'm using. It's just a bog standard 400 gram can, nothing special. And this is the curry powder that I'm using. This is actually a curry sauce powder, but it doesn't matter. If you find that your curry sauce is quite watery at the end, you can always pop in a wee bit of cornflour and water just to thicken it up. So the first thing we're going to do is make the sauce. So into a bowl, I mean you can do this in a slow cooker if you like, I just prefer to do it in a bowl beforehand. So I'm just going to pop in my coconut milk, followed by the curry powder. And I'm just going to give these a wee mix together. Just make sure they're nicely combined. And then to this, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Now, I'm just going to put a wee dash in. It's probably less than half a teaspoon of each, if I'm being honest. It's not much. But you can, of course, just leave these out. You know, if you're not keen in salt and pepper, leave them out. It doesn't make much of a difference. I've just got a habit of adding salt and pepper to everything. <laughs> so I just do this by habit. And then to that, you just want to pop your water in. So this is just 300 ml of warm water. And again, just another wee mix in. I'm sorry if you can hear seagulls in the background, they've been quite loud. <laughs> so that's your sauce base done. So you want to make sure your slow cooker is set to high. And then go over to your slow cooker and I always like to warm my wee crock pot up but you don't have to do this like I say every time it's just something that I do just make sure you tip your water out once it's warm 
and then you just want to go ahead and tip in your sauce base which is your coconut your curry powder and your salt and pepper and to that you want to add your chicken like i said this is three medium sized chicken breasts which i've just cut up into bite sized chunks and this is going to be four very generous portions and then to that you want to add your potato and then your onion this is absolutely delicious guys i can't tell you how tasty this is and how easy it is and then you want to add your garlic and your jalapeno now if you don't like it ultra spicy i mean you can leave out the jalapeno as well and i mean the curry sauce that i'm using or the curry powder is hot but you can of course use mild use whatever one you like and then I'm also going to add my star anise. Now you want to pop this onto an hour on a high heat and then turn it down to low for about three hours. And your peas you want to keep to the end because we put them in just now, you know, they're all going to mush up and overcook. So once it's got about half an hour to go, you can pop your peas in. So I'll let this go for about three and a half hours. You can also add in, if you're not keen in peas, you could add something like bell peppers, green peppers, red peppers. But like I said, I just like to add some peas to mine because typically, you know, when we get a Chinese curry from the takeaway, it will have peas and onions in it. So that's just what I'm using. And this is so similar <laughs> to our Chinese takeaway. It's not even funny. And it's probably about a third of the price when you consider how many portions you're getting out of it. So just let this go, like I said, for about three and a half hours, one hour on high and three hours on low. So this was me three and a half hours later. Now I'm just going to pop in my peas just now and give this another half an hour and that'll be it done. Now because I've used a sort of curry powder, curry sauce powder, mine is actually quite thick and I'm not going to thicken this up anymore. This is going to be, once it's finished cooking, this is going to be thick enough or just the way that we like it. But if you do like it thin, you know, thicker or if yours is quite watery, just go ahead and pop in about a teaspoon of uh, corn flour into a wee dish and pop a wee bit of water in to make it into a paste and you can stir that in just to thicken it up. Or you might find it's thick enough, but you'll know yourself. But this was just perfect for how we like it. We don't like it too thick. So this was me half an hour later. So it's now at four hours. And the smell of this was insane. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. So it was. The chicken's lovely and tender. The onions have still got a good bit of their crunch. You know, the, the, everything else is just beautiful. It really is. because I still like a wee bit of bite in the onion. I don't like it too, too soft. I like the contrast and the texture, so I do. But it's absolutely amazing. And this goes lovely with any kind of rice, boiled rice, fried rice. You can have noodles, even chips, or on its own with some bread. I mean, it's up to you. We just ended up having some rice, but I do like a few chips with my curry, I must admit or even a few noodles. You know, if I'm getting a, a takeaway, a Chinese takeaway from the actual takeaway, I'll usually get some noodles. So I think that goes really well with the curry sauce. So all you have to do now is pop it out into a plate. And like I said, I just made some rice this time. Gorgeous. So that's our rice and then the curry at the side. And I'm telling you, this is absolutely beautiful. If you like a Chinese, you know, I keep saying it, but it's true. <laughs> if you like a Chinese takeaway curry, you're going to love this. Because I'm quite picky about, you know, Chinese style curries and they've got to taste. They've got to taste right, haven't they? Or what's the point? So yeah. So that was my wee recipe. So I really do hope you give it a go because it's ultra simple. Only takes four hours. Again, you just throw everything in, 
because it's a slow cooker, throw everything in, come back a few hours later and it's done and you've got yourself a cracking curry to look forward to for you and your other family members or just for yourself. I mean, this freezes really well as well. So thank you very much again, guys, for coming over and checking out the wee video. And I do urge you to give that a wee go. And if you do, mind to, to let me know how it went. And until I see you next, which is probably going to be the shopping haul tomorrow. And then I'll be back on Sunday for the meals of the week. So hopefully I'll see you back for that. So until I see you, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. So bye for now. Bye now.